very uh, interesting word that you wouldn't run into very often in today's um, legal persona society would be the word anti-person. So when I go to anti-person, and you can go to different sites. Uh, this one was pulled off by reference from Wiktionary. But uh, anti-person is anti plus person. It's somebody who is not a person or not accepted as a person or who violates the conventions of personhood. So interesting definition there. And then you go a little bit further. Um, and when you even just look at person in itself, just from this same site, uh, we're pulling down the free dictionary. It says uh, a person is an individual, a person, not an anti-person, a person is an individual who has been granted personhood. Usually a human being. Well, I would have to agree with them on that. And then it says a character or part, as in a play, a specific kind or manifestation of individual character whether in real life or in literary or dramatic representation, an assumed character. So again, we're dealing with something that's not real. So an individual who has been granted personhood, that means you wouldn't have been a person before you're granted personhood. And then it flips it right into the term human being, which is, really the catch word that is now used to replace in legal talk what was once in real talk a man or a woman so now it's a human um, which has been defined in funk and wagnall's dictionary as one who denies the divinity of jesus christ or denies the existence of god and says that man can perfect himself. And of course, people that promote that theory or that belief system are called philanthropic people or philanthropists, which would be people such as Bill Gates. So very interesting where things are going. And of course, this is the UN agenda. Uh, and uh, this is the way things go when you are surrounded by a world that's run by what? those who promote legalism, lawyers. So we want to be very uh, clear on how we look at words because you could be under a spell.